Hello iPhone programmers. This is going to be a quick hint on how to handle text entry in uh, iPhone programming. So I just uh, created a new application, view-based application, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, uh, let me open up the interface builder uh, file here, and then from the uh, library of items, I'm going to drag in a text field, and move the library away, and I'll just resize this text field here. Okay, I'll save that, and then we'll go to interface uh, Xcode and build it. Okay, so now when I tap in here, uh, the text entry panel opens, so I can type in some text. But when I hit return, the text entry panel doesn't go away. Okay, so let me show you how we can make that happen. Okay, so just go into your uh, text, your uh, view controller .h file, and create a interface builder action, okay, IB action, call it whatever you want, end text, for example, I'm going to call mine end text, okay, I'm going to copy this, then go to the uh, viewcontrollers.m file, and then actually create the function, end text, we're not going to have it do anything here, we're just going to put the brackets in, okay, save that, and then build it, make sure you build it first, All right, and then now that we've got this function created, this empty function, open up your uh, interface builder and uh, then select the text file. And then drag the did end on exit event to the file's owner. And then you should see the, uh, the function that we created. Select that. And then you'll see down here that it has been associated with that event. Okay, so save that. Okay, go back to Xcode, build and go. And now when we tap into here and hit return, the text entry field goes away. Okay, so it's useful to have something like that if you, for example, want um, you want text entry, but you don't want the uh, text to text field itself to do anything once you've uh, done entering the text.